not here only about let's talk about the upsides of my of my tradition and the downsides of every other tradition no? sometimes some people think that 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 means instilling faith no? No? just an overdose of kijais and hiding whatever is not a kijai throw that to the shed into the unconscious no we should be willing to see the upsides of other traditions and also embrace the downsides of our tradition all everything has to be included and embraced in the equation so how successful have we been as a tradition in withdrawing the pro projection of our own shadow into others, into other people, other members in the tradition, outside of the tradition, and how much we are still trying to hide our own collective shadow by insisting, as I say, on an excessive praise of those things which, which are indeed glorious, <clears throat> but which stop being glorious when you start to use them as anxiolytics basically. You follow. Our tradition is full of glory, but if you use that glory as an excuse to hide your shadow, you are taking those glories as pills to relieve you from your, your anxiety, an anxiolytic, like a pill. So you're, That's not real praise. That's not real seva. And that's exploitation of the glories of your sampradaya. So we are not here for that, just in case. That doesn't mean to be a member of the Bodhi sampradaya. <laughs> And again, if something is clear to be there, because sometimes, again, what to speak of the unconscious, sometimes we are conscious of things that need to be changed, but we are not doing anything. We are just passively witnessing that, and, and that's a scene of omission. You, know, you have the scene of commission, which means you do, some, you do something that you know it's wrong, and you do it. That's called scene of commission. You are committing it. And then you have scene of omission, which means you let something bad happen, when you could have done something to stop it, but you just remain a passive mediocre witness. So, and generally, popularly, the scene of commission <clears throat> is classically regarded as more serious than, ser than the scene of omission, than avoidance. But is that actually the case? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> scene of omission can be very delicate. And it all starts in our own inner landscape again. Two things that we, to begin with, we see we know they are wrong and we don't, know, don't, don't do anything about it. What to speak of what's unconscious? Today we're speaking about the unconscious, of course, but first we have to, to work with the things that are on the conscious platform and deal with them properly. And, and, and again, all it starts individually and gradually extends to the, to the global 